pretty sure I'm not going to miss America. It's like a story. You know what it is? It's like my poems that I'm reading. I'll read them, start them once, and then I'll read them again a third, maybe a fourth time, or even sometimes a fifth time to enjoy and really soak in the poem. And then typically, after I've had enough, I put it away. And I will have it here. Like that poem by Sarah Kemble Knight that I read in my teens. It's still here. It's a poem that she wrote about sighting the moon as she rode a hard horse through the darkness in New England. I think this was in the 18th century. It goes like this. Short poem. Imagine a woman alone. I think she was with somebody else. But in the dark, scared. And then suddenly she saw the moon through the boughs of the trees, which in poetic terms is regarded as with a with name, Cynthia. The moon is Cynthia. All homage that I may, all homage that is, all homage that I may, unto a creature, unto thee I pay, in lonesome wood, to meet so kind a guide, to me is more worth than all the world beside. I was struck by that poem in my teens, and I read it over and over until it was uh, stuck in my head. I've never read it since, but it's still stuck in my head. But it isn't the memorization that's important. That is a, a rare example of an actually memorized poem. But the sentiment is keen and deep. In the books that I've read, the sentiment is keen and deep. The books that have, the books that mattered, that is. This life in America lived once, twice, thrice. Just like the number of times I typically read a poem. The sentiment of America is keen and deep within me now. It doesn't need another time. I don't need another reading of America. So, I think America is done for me. Yumiko, too. We've talked about it. Emily? Mm -hmm. She's only had it twice. That's her. She's got her life ahead of her. It'll be fun to watch from the sidelines. <laughs>